Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw Godzilla versus Mega Godzilla. So let's do it. I'm going to go right here and draw Godzilla kind of toward the bottom. And draw like a line for the snout. Pulling back. Top of the snout. Line right here for kind of the top of the, as rolling into the top of the head. Back. Downward right here. Up. Down. Curve down right here for the cheek or the jugo bone, and uh, it's pretty common in like lizards and stuff. The kind of cheekbone essentially it's called the jugo bone. Still some teeth there, but not quite yet. Curve down for the skin right there below, you know, on the Godzilla opens his mouth. Curving open right here. Line downward for the bottom of the jaw there. Line over here, and then we got the rest of the jaw. Think of Godzilla a little bit more like a square, but if you're really big on drawing Godzilla's head, absolutely check out the free link in the description and you're going to get a free little kind of guide on how to do it. It's just a few pages and it gives you like the step-by-step -step, uh, line over here with the teeth and line over here for the teeth like so. Let's do the teeth in the back like that. Line over here for the skin in the back and then down over here some teeth as they go down down over here, up, line, line, nostril there, jaw right there, kind of the under the throat there, because Godzilla's neck gets bigger as it goes down, that's something you have to remember, uh, and line over here, so he is out there, he's like, what, down over here, we're going to have his arm, kind of stick it over here, arm, up over here, armpit on this side, and then line over here on this side for the arm. And we got some claws on that side and the thumb right there. Side of the stomach over here. And we're going to run him off the page a little bit. So we're going to have some spikes. Spikes start to turn into islands. You know, these big old, imagine them like clustered stuff and we're gonna kind of stop them here and they're gonna kind of roll around here on this side of him he's kind of turning his back we're gonna try to make it seem like he's going around there and don't be too exact I understand it's pretty tough to do this kind of sort of thing but just you know the spikes on his back just think of like like I said literally mountains or glaciers uh, and then you know they, they, they'll be different every time honestly when you draw them like for me too if I was to redraw that that'd be different um, it's not really quite like that. There's a little line right there where there's a little bit of changing from the top uh, part of his body to the bottom. Um, draw like a line right here for the side of his body or something. But other than that, you can draw, you know, the snake belly kind of kind of thing that he has. Where maybe over here we'll end it. Just kind of the snake belly of the stomach. And maybe a line in here for the for the actual tongue. And uh, well, something we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in the back of the mouth. If I'm going too quick, please, you know, you can always go back. Forgive me. So it's kind of a lot to get in here for him. Okay, let's go over here. Now we're gonna go over here to uh, Mecha Godzilla. That one's gonna be a little bit uh, more wild. So we're gonna go over here. Down for the forehead. Line down over here out for the snout. Hey, let's take a quick break and I want to talk to you about something very important and that is cute drawings. Something you all want to do. And I understand when you're doing some of this stuff, sometimes things don't turn out the way you want, right? Sometimes the head's too big or the arm's too long or the line is wobbly or what do I do here? How big do I make the eyes? I understand all these questions so I made a guide for you to kind of clear up anything that you have. Pretty much all the questions I got on cute drawings, I answer them all in this guide. It is a 20 page guide entirely on how to turn anything cute. Like I go over head sizes. Oh shit. So let me give you an example really fast. So something we talk about a lot is proportion and that is the most important part of drawing something cute. So what I do is I go over the eyes and how big to make the eyes compared to the head. And that is one way to do it. But 90 5% of the cute stuff you see everywhere has the exact same formula and this is it. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is and then I throw other extras like you know expressions and also cool poses you can do. 
I'm not gonna have this book up forever, so get it right now while you can, and it is totally free right now in the description. All you gotta do is go down, put your email in and your name, and then you download it. Down right here, the top of the snout, back, up over here, angled, and line up over here, down. We're not gonna do the exact design for him that much. He's a robot, but we'll, we'll kind of, we're, we're on the edge of our seat as we do this. Line down, out, line down over here. Think of this like you're drawing boxes or something. That'd be kind of a cool thing to do. Line right there, and maybe line on this side right here. We're gonna make it more flat. Let's draw the big old eye right there, line like so. So we're just gonna draw it like we're drawing like cardboard boxes first, and then we'll throw detail onto Mecha Godzilla. Line right here, line right here for the neck, across the chest area, down, and let's just put his arm up here too. So curve over here. Think of his arms like tubes or something like that. So line up curve over here, line over here, line over here on this side, think of like that, again, think of like a cardboard box tube or something, extend it here, curve, and we're going to draw like his knee, because he's got his foot high up, down right there, line over here, and line line, line, line over here, his foot is way up, I and mean, he's got a giant foot, you know, just like Godzilla does, so we're looking at the bottom of his foot right here, curving in for the torso, curving in right here, line down, line over here, down, kind of gets bigger as it goes down, you can kind of draw the calf bigger if you'd like, but it's not necessary, kind of line going back for the leg and then over here we're gonna have the tail kind of come through go around there on that side he's jumping up like he's gonna go what up line in the back curve line right here out down up here out, out here, up Kind of almost like a like a what do you call it like a wrench, but we're gonna add another finger right there, like so. You do the same thing over here as well. We can do like line up there, line right there with some fingers in the back. This one looks a little bit plastered out, so I'm gonna throw a line over here. So we have his general body type right now, very broadly, and he doesn't really have too many spikes to be honest. So. We, and this is like kind of like combination of the old and the new a little bit, but we're going to go over here to the side of his head and we're going to draw a circle and another circle. He's got these like, I don't know, like gear on the side of his head. Line down over here. Let's draw dot, 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 dot to make him look robotic because right now we're doing is we're not doing any particular version of Mecha Godzilla, but we are trying to make him look robotic. Curve line over here, curve line over here. All right, line over here on this side. You can kind of like darken out the bottom as well if you'd like. You can also darken the mouth over here as well. Does he have teeth? I think he has some teeth as well over there. Uh, I should have put more to be honest, but we already darkened in that area. We could maybe lift this area up a little bit and just kind of. There you go, do that kind of thing, kind of like a cheat as well. We could do that. Line over here, down. Line, line. Circle right there, like it's a gear. Let's go over here on this side, line down. Circle over here, like it's another gear. line over here like there's like a, a plane going like this is the side and this is the bottom like so 
and around the shoulder here I'm gonna draw like a line right there to show it's kinda like one thing fitting into the other over here in the arm curve down up right there and then we're gonna draw a dot 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 like it's machinery you can do the same thing over here on this side like again because it's not any particular version of him line over here line over here we're just taking aspects of different versions of Mechagodzilla uh, right here in the tail as well there's gonna be a lot of line 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 just kinda making sure that's happening let's go to the leg over here so the leg itself will have similar things like like a like a box kinda almost looks like a what do you call it like a car part or something where you fix you fix that sort of thing a line over here on this side line down dot 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 line over here dot 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 and we're pretty much almost done we're just gonna kinda put maybe one over here we can kinda keep going with that process is my point you can go into the hand itself maybe start dissecting it up um, let me a line on this side maybe a, a line over here where the elbow is because there's like a flexed area line over here for kind of those doors on that side as well but and you can also if you would like you can draw these little notches that are coming out maybe make them look like they're kind of mechanical spikes alrighty and that's kind of it if you want you can draw like a like a circle here in the bottom and maybe you can divide all this but that's kind of all you need to do right there at that point it's good enough it reads well and that's kind of the best thing we want to do on the channel it reads well you know like oh, okay I can tell what it is that's kind of what you're aiming for thank you so much share the video if you can you are amazing uh, and I want you to stick around we're gonna do another drawing lesson right now so let's do it okay so that was amazing you finished this lesson but keep it going keep the art practice going by clicking this video right here it's going to be within the same theme and you want to keep it rolling to get better and better and better and get that art flow going so click right here